Hi gang. So this is the Activity Lab 1.1 Operating System Types and Features. It's ready to go. We're going to have, go ahead and start it up. I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to be successful in these live virtual labs. So if you start up your lab and it looks like this one, this is a live virtual lab. Now, with that said, there's a way to go about this, and it's not what you would normally think. It's not traditional. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm on page 1 of 11. I'm going to shoot right to number 11, the last page first. And why am I going to do that? Well, I'll show you here in a second why I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to go to that last page. And here we go. Here's the last page. Lab assessment. All right. I want to get these questions right. Let's assume I go through everything all down the path and get through all 10 pages, do everything I've got to do, and I get to this page and I answer one of these questions wrong. To be able to do better on this, I have to go back through all 10, 11 pages to get to this. So how about I start with this page, and if I need to start over, I go back and start over and start with this page, okay? So with this one, EFS, I'll say encrypted file system, I say, well, that's not right. Stands for encrypting file system. Damn, now I know. All right. Which version? Cortana. That was Win 10. I know that. There we go. Well, I'm not too sure about this. Windows 7. The search files and folder. Uh, yes. Oh, I was right. So I did good. I wasn't sure. But yeah. And this next one. A computer that's part of a work group can exist on the same network but is not authorized to access the domain resources. Oh, let's say yes. And we got that one right. All right, we got one more. What is the memory limitation of the 32-bit operating system? Oh, would we have four gig? Yeah, we were. So I know it's four gig. I know it's true on the work group question. True on the Win 7. Win 10. And this is encrypting file system. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and submit report. Yes. Now let's back up. Come back into it. We'll jump. Right back in there again. Okay. Now this is why. I don't want to get a bad score on these. I want to make sure I know all this stuff. And... You know, just because I wasn't sure on that one word, man, now that means that I would have to go back and redo the whole thing again just to be able to get all those questions right. Well, let's, like I said, let's go about this a little bit backwards. Encrypting file system. Yay, there we go. Cortana was Win 10. There we go. Win 7. True. Computer's part of a work group. True. 4 gig. Yay. So there we go. We've gotten through that. So now we know the questions are done. They're answered correctly. Now, let's go back. Previous. 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 Previous all the way back to the beginning and I opened me up in a new tab I didn't mean for that there we go and there we go now we just go step by step what are the learning objectives what do we need to do how long is this going to last it takes about an hour to do it now imagine that how long did it take us to do those questions three minutes an hour to go through the lab three questions oh man if you screwed up on the questions 
and you want to do it again, you got to go spend another hour to get through the lab to get your three questions or your questions right. All right, so let's do it that way. Start at the end, look and see if questions are there. And if you see questions, get them knocked out, make sure they're all right, then go do the lab part of it. Okay, we read through the directions, we click next. They want us to look at this network layout and it's hard for me to see that so what do i need to do right click open that image in a new tab let me go look and see what that looks like oh i can see that clear now keep that in mind if you see an image right click it open it in a new tab and you'll be able to see better okay i just click next i know what the configuration is i know what these devices are I proceed and we're going to compare the Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. All we do is just read through this item by item. Take your time, go through it, learn the differences, know the differences, visualize or see what it is they want you to see and how to navigate these three different operating systems Win 10, Win 8, Win 7. Start them all up. Just go in and power it on. Power it on powered on get them all going and then once you've got them all going then you can go in and perform the different navigation steps they want us to do go search for mail do whatever they tell us to do scroll down to the bottom grab your screenshot okay it says it had a problem with it something about something was running wrong back up back forward again come on down there it says it I'll retake the screenshot sure you want to yes I want to retake it grab screenshot boom there we go so I got the screenshot of whatever they wanted me to if I followed the directions already and then I just proceed let me see, I'll go through and I'll follow the directions that they tell me to do in here. And I get to the bottom, let's assume I've done all this. I went and opened up the media player, I went and opened up the audio, I did what they wanted me to do with the settings and the configuration of this Win 10. I did all of it, group policies, changed it, set it, we got it all done. EFS, what's it mean? And I grab a screenshot, boom go I've got one more thing I think that they want me to do change the style of the user, user interfaces so we're going to go to that win 10 machine and you go, go through this it doesn't make sense for me to go create an hour-long video to teach you how to do something that they just walk you through step by step go into settings change the personalization scrolling down grab our screenshot so it got it if I proceed ahead we compare the two systems, do what we need to do. We'll grab one last screenshot. There it is. And then we just move forward. There's nothing left to grab. You know, because if we keep going through here, there's no screenshot to do. See, no screenshot for this one. We get to the questions. We've already answered those. We know we're 100% on the questions. Go ahead and submit the report. Yes. How do we do? So with that, I don't see it. I don't see your score, how you did, or what worked, what didn't work. I don't know. Um, but at this point, it took the score, it sent it over. You can go back and see in there what your score was. You can go look in your gradebook and see what you got on it. And we'll just move on to the next one, okay? So keep in mind, if you're going to do those live virtual labs, check to see at the end if there are questions they want you to ask. Do your homework on that. Get those questions right first, and then perform the lab. That way you don't have to do the lab multiple times. All right.